Real Madrid will not offer more than 40 million euros for key target Lenny Euro amid Lille's 50 million euros demand. This is the message from the Real Madrid head office amid Manchester United's lucrative offer for the French prodigy. We are going to be discussing you detailly into that in this episode as we progress. And shortly after that, we are going to quickly turn our attention to the next agenda of the day, as the Merengues have already shelled out 6.25 million euros in avons for Hendrik, even before his arrival at the Santiago Bernabeu. We are also going to be detailing you through that on this episode as we progress, so please stay tuned right up to the end. Do not forget to like and subscribe to this channel, turn on your notification bells so you do not miss out on our daily Real Madrid update. After bidding farewell to former Real Madrid captain Nacho Fernandez and completing the sale of Rafa Marin to Napoli, the club has a ramped up its pursuit of a centre defender. As it stands, Lenny Euro, their priority target for the position, Los Blancos have been tracking the teenage throughout 2024 and intend to accelerate the process as the summer transfer window reaches a crucial stage. Providing an update on the situation, Spanish publication Diario AS have come out to report that Real Madrid chief scout Junis Calafat is leading the negotiations for Lenny Euro with French side Lille. Juni Calafat has the full backing of the club's top brass. The Real Madrid hierarchy considers the recent signing of young French players like Aurelien Chouameni and Eduardo Camavinga as significant successes, further in sensitizing the pursuit of Lenny Euro. Given Calafat's successful recruitment track record, having expertly secured the likes of Fede Valverde, Martin of the Guard, and Vinicius Jr. His involvement in the pursuit of Lenny Euro bought well for the club. Lille has reportedly accepted Manchester United's 55 million euros bid for Lenny Euro, but the deal is on hold due to the player's preference to join the Merengues. Meanwhile, Real Madrid does not wish to pay more than 40 million euros for Lenny Euro which is below Lille's asking price of 50 million euros. There is a significant gap between Real Madrid and Lille's position, so Real Madrid is leaving the decision in the hands of the player. Lenny Euro, just 18 years old, has two options. Push for the transfer to happen this summer or stay in France for another season and join the Merengues on a free transfer in the summer of 2025. Time will tell if the move materializes this summer, but Real Madrid's lack of options in defense will likely maximize their effort to get the deal over the line. Last season, the Real Madrid defense was many times exposed due to injuries to David Alaba and Hector Militao, which caused defensive midfielder Aurelien Chouameni to deputize in the centre-back role, a role where Lenny Euro thrives in for Lille. Heading into next season, David Alaba is not yet in full recovery as he is not expected to return until December, so it is left to be seen whether Real Madrid will put all that in consideration while bidding for Lenny Euro or they will have absolutely no problem Deputizing, Tuameni Wood did exceptionally well in that position last season when Edem Militao and David Alaba were both out due to injury. More updates on that will follow. So having discussed and concluded with that, we are now going to quickly turn our attention to the next agenda of the day, as Real Madrid have shelled out 6 million euros in Avant for Hendrik even before his arrival at the Santiago Bernabeu. Brazil forward Hendrik will officially become a Real Madrid player on July the 21st, his 18th birthday, nearly two years after Real Madrid initially struck a deal with Brazilian side Palmares. 
Interestingly enough, a report from Sport has confirmed that even though he is still not a Real Madrid player as of today, Palmares are already reaping monetary benefits from the deal. For now, the exact date for Hendrik's presentation by Real Madrid has not been officially announced, but it is anticipated to be on the 26th of this month. This timing falls just two days before the end of his vacation, following his participation in the Copa America. On the presentation day, Hendrik will sign a new contract with Real Madrid, committing to the club until the summer of 2029. He is also expected to join the team's training session in preparation for the tour of the United States alongside other Brazilian stars like Vinicius Jr., Rodrigo and Eder Militao. It must be noted that Real Madrid's agreement with Palmares includes a base fee of €35 million Euros, with an additional €25 million Euros in potential performances related variables. Furthermore, there are tax implications amounting to around €12 million Euros bringing the total cost to roughly 72 million euros. Hendrik's salary is said to be below 10 million gross for the first two seasons. In return, Real Madrid will retain 50% of his image rights, which will help offset part of the investment. Interestingly, Palmares are already seeing financial gain from the transfer due to various performance-related clauses in the agreement with Real Madrid. For instance, there is a bonus of 2.5 million euros for goals scored by Hendrik while he was still at Palmares. According to sources, he has already netted 20 goals since the agreement was finalized, earning Palmares an additional 5 million euros. Additionally, Palmares will receive 1.25 million euros because Hendrik played in the Copa America despite his performances not being particularly impressive in the tournament. In addition to the fixed fee of 35 million euros, Palmares have already received 6.25 million euros before Hendrik even donned the Real Madrid jersey, bringing the total transfer fee to 41.25 million so far. Hendrik's journey with Real Madrid is just the beginning, and Palmares hopes to continue receiving payment until the total reaches 60 million euros devalued the player at during the bidding process, which Real Madrid ultimately won. More updates on that will follow in our co upcoming episodes. Stay tuned so you do not miss out. So having discussed and concluded with that, we have come to the end of today's interesting episode. Thanks for following us right up to the end. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to this channel. Turn on your notification bells so you do not miss out on our daily Real Madrid update. See you next time and a very big Hala Madrid to us all.